I really do think it's important to clarify this as we build the confidence of the American people. When I commented yesterday that there was a possibility of the fall, winter, uh, uh, next fall and winter, it could be more diff difficult, more complicated. When we had two respiratory illnesses circulating at the same time, influenza and the coronavirus 19. But I think it's really important to emphasize what I didn't say. I didn't say that this was going to be worse. I said it was going to be more complicated or more difficult and potentially complicated because we'll have flu and coronavirus circulating at the same time. I want to emphasize that we continue to build the nation's public health infrastructure to ensure that we have the capacity to stay in the containment mode. Those of you who heard me talk before, I've told you that in January and February, up to February 27, 28, this nation had 14 cases. Uh, we were in the containment mode. And then, unfortunately, the virus overwhelmed where we got into extreme mitigation. We are building that public health ca capacity now to make sure that we stay in the containment mode uh, for the upcoming fall and winter uh, season. So we will not need to resort to the kind of mitigation that we had to this spring. I have confidence that our public health response of early case recognition that we've talked about, isolation and contact tracing, uh, combined with our plans for increased surveillance, particularly in, for the most vulnerable, will be an effective uh, public health strategy so our nation will be able to maintain itself in the containment mode. And again, that will be supported by the American public's continued cooperation, obviously in the areas of personal hygiene and the, the types of social distancing strategies that uh, may be appropriate. The key uh, uh, to my comments and the reason that I really wanted to stress them was to appeal to the American public to embrace the flu vaccine with confidence. One of the greatest tools we have as we go through the fall, winter season that we're into is to get the American public to embrace the influenza vaccine and thereby minimize the impact of flu to be the co-respiratory disease that we confront. Thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Redfield, the Washington Post, which you did the interview with them, they quoted you as saying there's a possibility that the assault of the virus on our nation next winter will actually be much even more difficult than the one we just went through. And when I've said this to others, they've kind of put their head back. They don't understand what I mean. We're going to have the flu epidemic and the coronavirus epidemic at the same time. Is that what you said to the Washington Post? Yeah, that's what I was trying to say to you uh, just a minute ago, that the issue that I was talking about, about being more difficult, is that we're going to have two viruses circulating at the same time. This spring that we just went through, February, we had a benefit of having the flu season ended. So we could use all our flu surveillance systems to say, whoops, this is coronavirus. We need to focus. Next fall and, and, and winter, we are going to have two viruses circulating. And we're going to have to distinguish between which is flu and which is the coronavirus. And so the comment that I made, it's more difficult. Doesn't mean it's going to be more impossible. Doesn't mean it's going to be more, as some people have said, uh, worse. It just means it's going to be more difficult because we have to distinguish between the two. And what I was wanting to do and what I want to do again here is appeal to the American public to recognize they can really help like they did with mitigation, which they really helped. I need them to help now to best prepare us by getting the flu vaccine and taking flu out of the picture.